Now, if you use ACF or ACF Pro, you know that if you want to create custom post types, taxonomies, and so on, you either need to hand code it or use something like CPT UI. However, there is an update coming relatively soon that's currently in alpha that's going to remove that reliance and give us the ability to do this directly inside ACF and ACF Pro itself. And currently, for the alpha and beta testing, it's only for Pro. So bear that in mind. So to get access to this, all you need to do is log into your ACF Pro account hop over to licenses, underneath downloads, you'll see there's an option for 6.1 something, and it'll be alpha, beta, whatever, whenever you're actually seeing this video. I've already downloaded this and installed it on a demo site. Now please, if you wanna test it out, only put it on a demo site. And the first thing you'll notice is that we now no longer have custom fields, we have ACF, which does make a lot more sense because, well, that's what we're using, advanced custom fields. And when it opens up to have other things like post types and taxonomies and so on, it is more of a fully featured tool now. So you'll see when we hover over the ACF section, we now have two key new options, post types and taxonomies. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. If we open up post types, you'll see this now takes on that same kind of look and feel that we have with ACF and ACF Pro. You can see I've already created one called properties, but let's go ahead and create something new. Let's add a new post type in. And you'll see what you get to start off with is a relatively simple interface. So if you don't need to have all the extra bells and whistles and you're happy to accept the default values, you can simply go ahead, add in the singular label, plural label, and it'll auto generate the post type. And then you can choose whether you just want to have this public and or hierarchical. And if you want access to those extra features, you can use the advanced configuration. So first of all, let's go ahead and create a new post type. For this, we'll create one called agents pop in the single label, and you'll see that automatically generates the post type key, which is basically just gonna be used for the slug. Then you can see we can make this public or not, so this is visible on the front end and in the admin dashboard. Hierarchical, this is one of those areas that I just tend to use this as default because I think it's a nicer way of working inside the actual WordPress editor itself. And then you can just basically go ahead and say save changes and you've got the basics that you need to get that post type registered. However, if you wanna dig in a little deeper, open up the advanced configuration, and now we've got the advanced settings broken down into various different subsections. So all the things that you're used to are going to be inside you with the kind of twist that is going to be ACF centric. So again, you can see we can link taxonomies when we create them. So you can see I've got a custom property type. We've got formats, tags, and categories, the standard ones you see as part of WordPress itself. And we can create these and we can reverse link them. We can link them from creating the taxonomies and so on. So we'll look at that in a moment. So we'll leave that blank as it is. Then you can see we can choose what it supports. So for example, we want title, editor, and featured image. And then if you want any of the other ones, check off what you want, drop a description in if it's relevant. Hopping over to labels then, this pre-fills out based upon what you inserted into the post type basic information, the labels and so on. This will auto-generate those. Again, much the same as you've seen with things like CPT UI and so on. So all that's listed inside there. You can see there's an awful lot of options, but they are all pre-filled, which is cool. Visibility, you can control where and when this is going to be displayed. So you can see, we can just set the basic parameters. We can drop a menu icon in. Currently, they've got to use the dash icon uh, class name, but they are going to replace that and have something that's really selectable. So it'll be a little bit more user-friendly. And then you can drop in your menu position, exclude from search, show in admin, all the things you'd expect to see. Permissions. Again, you can see we can set this public and hierarchical, which is what we've got up here. But we've got advanced settings as well, so we can do things like renaming the capabilities, make it available to export or to not have it exportable. And you want to delete the content with the user. You know, all again, all the things that you used to. Then finally, you've got your permalink. So if you want to override anything inside you, customize it, you can do that as well as pull in query variables or create query variables and so on. You can even create custom URL slugs. And then finally, whether you want to connect this up to the REST API, and there's some advanced options in here like controller classes and so on. So if you have a need for those advanced features, they are in here. So you can go as simple or as advanced as you actually require. Once you, you save the changes, that will, as you'd expect, create that post type. You can see this agent now on the left-hand side. But what it also does is it gives you this green sort of message notification box at the top that then says, right, the next thing you're probably going to want to do is one of these three things add fields to the agent, link existing field groups, or create a new taxonomy. So what you can do is you can just jump over and continue your design process, your creation process by using one of these, or obviously you can still go back to the normal options on your taxonomies. So for now, let's go and take a look at our post types. 
And you can see there's our new post type. If we've given it a description to be listed, there's the key for this, which is easily copyable, any taxonomies or field groups that are associated with it, and the number of posts that you have. And you can search the different post types. So again, it's all very in keeping with what we expect to see with ACF and ACF Pro. So it's nice to see a big update like this coming. Hop over to taxonomies and you see there's my property types. But again, let's go and choose a new option to create a new one. And we can connect this up now to whatever we want. And you can connect these up as always to multiple different post types. So all that flexibility is still available to you. So for example, now we can just say some information about the agent. So let's just see something simple like agent type. We'll do agent types. Again, you can see it automatically creates the taxonomy key. We now have the post types. So this is where we can connect it up to any of the post types, whether the normal internal WordPress or whether the ones we've created. So we can click to open this up and you see there's our agents. We'll choose that. If you want to associate this with more, so property, for example, and you might want to associate with pages, you can add it to as many as you want and easily delete them as well. Again, you've got your public, your hierarchical, and if you want to, you can just literally leave it at this point and click on Save Changes. Uh, but if you want to go to the advanced configuration, it's all available to you. So you can have sort terms, default terms. This will open up additional options. You can come into your labels. Again, you've got all those options for updating the labels if you want to convert these to something else. So you can do all that directly inside here. Your visibility, again, you can show this. So you can say we'll have an admin column. Do you want to quick edit this? Tag clouds, appearance measures, and so on. Adjust your permalinks for this. Set it to be hierarchical, queryable, custom query variables, and connect it up to your REST API, again, if you want to. So all those options are available. If we drop a description in, so if we say this is just a description, and now we can click on Save Changes. And that will then be connected to our post type or post types. And again, you see we now get this little box that pops up. What's the next logical thing you may want to do? If we hop over into our post types, you can see we now have our post types coming to taxonomies. There's our taxonomy, there's our description, and everything is connected up and what post types is connected to. And then finally, you can just go and connect your field groups. So if we go into field groups, add a new one in, give this a name. So for example, property type details, and then you can go ahead and fill these out. So we'll just use a text option and we'll just call this doesn't really matter too much. It's just all fill a text anyway. Again, pre-fills out default values. We can show a validation, presentation, conditional logic, and so on. And then we can say your post type is equal to, and we can set that to be, for this example, our property. So you can just go through the process of then connecting everything up. Once we're happy, we'll save our changes. And we've now created our field group. We go back to our field group. Tells us this is located to properties. There's one field inside there. If we come into our post types, you can see this tells us now properties. And it tells us there's a field group of property type details. It all connects up relatively simple and straightforward. And the other thing that's worthwhile noting is if you want to install uh, ACF or ACF Pro, do what you want to do, create it, and then get rid of it, get rid of the plugin, and just have that code added in through your functions PHP or using code snippets or something. You can hop over into tools. And now inside here, you can see we can export the field groups, the post types, and all the taxonomies. You can export them as a JSON file, or you can generate the PHP. So let's just say we want all of these. We'll select all that and say generate the PHP. And there we now have all the PHP that's required to be able to create those custom post types should we want to use them or export them to a different site or whatever. And you can, if you want to, come over to the right-hand side take off anything you don't want, regenerate that PHP, and you're good to go. Copy the clipboard, use that, like I say, in your functions PHP file or a code snippets type plugin, and it'll register those post types, those taxonomies, and all those kinds of things in the website itself. Really, really easy. But obviously, if you want to use the option for the JSON, you can simply come and choose that option. So you can, again, select all of these, hit the export as JSON, and then you're done. And then on your sort of donor site, you can import that JSON file as well and pull all the settings back in. And that's effectively what we now have as part of this alpha release of ACF and ACF Pro. But what do you think? Is this something that you've been waiting for for a long time? I know for me, the reliance upon another plugin like CPTUI, however good that is, is another plugin to maintain. 
So it's nice to see that's going to be integrated directly into ACF. And it's also nice to see that this is going to be in the pro and the, the free version, and that we're now starting to get some bigger updates since it's been taken over by WP Engine. So I'm glad to see this is being pushed forward and we're now starting to see some development that moves it in a more pro direction. But I'd love to get your feedback. Let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.